everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Spyro, a new beginning! In the last episode, we freed a bunch of Manwer Smalls. I still love that name, and now we're fighting Scorpions. I don't like them very much. I can't- I couldn't see because there's a giant tree in my way. I think I killed one of them though, so... Oh! I'm just right here now. Die. Why is there a giant tree in the way, and why can the camera just zoom into it so frequently? That's frustrating. Can I break this? Yes, I can. I'll check that, that out in a second, because I want to break these diamonds. Get my experience points and health from them. It's kind of silly that you can get experience points from just breaking stuff like that. Here. Have a present! Your very own Gemini laser. Which is basically what it is, except a little more controlled. But, like, it it's blue, it's a laser, it bounces off walls. It's like, that's a Gemini laser if I've ever seen one. Why can't I break that one easily? I don't know. I think it has something to do with the collision on the barrels. Messing it up. I don't know. I'm just guessing and rambling and on and stuff. I need to figure something stuff to talk about that is preferably with better grammar than that, because that was horrible grammar. Um... What is that? Uh, it's just a thing. It's nothing. Do these beetles actually hurt me? I don't know. I'm just gonna freeze them all. Because, yeah, they don't give me experience points, so they're probably not very worth the kill. Oh, they do hurt me, though. That's not very nice of them. I was just gonna start leaving them alone, but nope, they actually hurt you. It's kind of dumb that... There's an enemy out there that's just like, there's so many of them and then they- I guess that's why they don't give you experience points, because there are just so many of them. Also, they're infinitely respawning, I just realized. So that's why they don't have experience, because then you could just grind for experience on them and it's like... Although the game- the, ga the game has a limited experience thing in how it's like, it's always pushing you forward, there's no way to ever backtrack to areas in or anything, so it's like, once you kill something, unless you like, Unless you do the whole, like, oh, I'm just gonna start over again, like I had to on accident sometimes, it's like... There's no way to really reclaim experience, so that's an interesting thing, it's like, it really kind of makes you gauge, like, what you really want to get. Something I need to do with this thing? Apparently so. Uh... I need to destroy this one, too. And this one? I don't know. Oh, there's one up here. Can I get that one? It kind of, like, weirdly locks me. Is there a way I can, like, cut this down or something? It doesn't look like it. Can I breathe fire at it? Well, it doesn't like ice. Mm. Well, if that didn't work, I don't know what would. Are you kidding me? All that it was not it was it was there was nothing. I just had to whack the door with my head, which I could never do before. So I don't see why they thought you would be able to do that. There was always something else before to get those things to open and not I'm annoyed now. That's dumb. That that was what I was missing. That I had to hit the door open, which was never anything you had to do before. Now I don't have a key. Do I need to light this on fire or something? Blow the door open? Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Uh, weird spirally path. Neat. 
Looks like there's some trains up there. What's all the way at the end of this? Terrador? Maybe? It's a long way up. Really wanted to show me all that, didn't it? Time to traverse it all, I guess. It's like a fiery version of the sealed grounds. Moon battle. Yeah, good luck battling the moon. I'm sure that'll do well for you. That's actually an interesting thing that the Earth does, I just noticed. It kind of like pushes you away. It's almost more like wind, I guess, more than Earth. Which, and I, I, I guess wind is kind of related to Earth? Maybe? I don't know. Wind might have worked better as a pushy thing than Earth. Earth just seems generic and like, not exactly necessary. Um... Hey, you can die. There you go. Um... What could I possibly talk about here? Well, obviously we're getting near the end of this world. Like, we're close enough now that I'm not gonna be surprised to find that at the top of this thing might be the boss. Like, that would... That would just, that would feel right to me. Like we've already, f we we're, we're these are probably the last of the main weird smalls that we're that I'm freeing right now. So it's like, what else is there to do other than get Terador? I mean, we already destroyed half the train. I'm assuming that the conductor is gonna be the boss, which would actually be like a decent like lead up to the boss, as opposed to. The other bosses that we fought, the Ice King and the Stone Sentinel, both of both of whom were just kind of random and arbitrary and just kind of well, not the Stone Sentinel so much because they loot the K Kane alluded to there being a god, but he didn't feel godlike. He was just a weird wooden guy. There you go. I thought him dying activated that cutscene, but no, it was just me walking up here. Oh, there you are. Again, that's really kind of the only annoying thing about the ice is that when you want to just kill small enemies with it, they turn into snowballs and don't die. But really, that's it. I, I actually think ice is one of the... Oh, it's another one of these annoying big guys. There. That's what I feel about you. And your flame hammer. I can't shoot any missiles or anything. I guess this is the benefit of the Earth Hour. It kind of pushes things away. It's like, it's like an energy force. Again, more fitting for wind than anything else. So I'm gonna call it wind instead of Earth. It's my wind force. Oh, this looks like a battle arena if I've ever seen one. Oh, and there's Terrador. A big dragon being held prisoner in the center of an explosive volcano? I'm guessing that's Terrador. Careful, it's never this easy. After the last two times, you're not gonna get an argument from me, Chief. Oh, here we go again. Looks like I was right. About the boss, that is. You're a little late, fella. It's already charged and the volcano's ready to blow. Before it does, me and Steve here you are named your, great you named your train? You Alright. Well. I'm doing damage to it. But probably not as much as I want to. That's better. Let me just... Ooh. Kind of blow him up, I guess. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Is he doing anything to me? I 
can't tell if he has attacks. I, I'm legitimately, I can't tell. Well now, I, well actually now he has like, some sort of... Wah! Okay, so his attack is running you straight over. Alright. If that's it, that's, this is kind of easy. The only trick is like, you kind of... It's kind of hard to hit him at the same time, because he's constantly moving like this. Oh, and then he stopped. And exploded. Um... It's a matter of getting him to crash, I think. I think that's what makes him stop moving. Like so. Yeah, that- and that- then I, you can really rack in the damage. Because otherwise he doesn't really take too much damage. Also, I'm gonna blow up the rest of these things so I can get the experience from them, because I really am not taking much damage in this fight. So it would be better to kind of get these experience points when I can. I like how Spyro kind of gets dragged along with the car. Kind of silly. I see what makes him move around though. It's when you stand on the track, and then he goes in the center. And you're close to being dead now. Might as well be considered entirely dead. Oh, no, you have a fourth face. And now you're actually starting to hurt me. That's troubling. Ow. Here, come on, crash. When you crash, I have a Z-move already ready to use on you. Well, that probably would have killed him if he was on the ground. Wait, really? You shouldn't be able to combo me like that. What? I wasn't on the track! Oh, I'm alive. Okay, that's just... That's just dumb. Well, he's on his last phase, at least. At least presumably. Why the hell does he have four phases? That's kind of arbitrary. I mean, I guess it makes it harder, but... I don't know. I would have preferred this... What did I get hit by? Well, if I can constantly blow a stream of fire on him, that's good. It's just now that the, all, with all these explosions happening, it's like it's hard to avoid getting hit because you can just randomly explode like that. So really, I shouldn't have killed all the crystals is basically what I'm learning from this, but really there was no way I could have possibly known that there was going to be a fourth right phase. Nothing ever has fourth phases in games. Like, things always have three phases and that's it. So this guy is cheating, basically, is what I'm getting getting out of this. If I just kind of do this, I'll... I'll keep getting him. Playtime's over? You're not Altair, so you don't get to say that. 
then again, given that argument, I don't ever get this. I don't ever get. I shouldn't be able to ever reference y'all mine. So do whatever you want. Probably wasn't a reference anyway because no one knows about or cares about Von Man before, except for me. All right, this is starting to get on my nerves. So here, just blow up, why don't you? Ow! I was not expecting him to turn. I killed him and died at the same time. And it's... he's still dead? Nice. <laughs> Sweet. That's how you kill a boss. Well, this is definitely pre-rendered. The purple dragon lives. He's got a name, you know. Yes, my name is Spyro. And you must be Terador. Yes, Just look how much better yes, animated this is. And I must say, I never thought I'd live to meet you, Spyro. Oh, I know that guy. Sit here and hug everybody he's, and chit chat, but he's Antari before the bulk in Gantu. You're right. I've got to tell the others what Cinder is up to. Let's go. Right behind you. Actually, I'm right in front of you. Uh, is that Cinder? Do we finally get to meet her? Run! Look, when the guy says run, I think he knows something. run after Cinder, you mean, then. I guess I now see why this is pre-rendered. It's very jarring to go to. After, after all the other cutscenes. It also looks weird. Like, there's weird lighting effects go on spiral. it. Go, Spyro! Fly like you've never flown before! I'll go back to the temple for help! Flying after Cinder? She's a weird face. Oh, no, we're flying away from Cinder. Yeah, I was just expecting another cutaway to a tutorial. Use R to speed up and get away from Cinder. Okay, so it's our own, only our second on rail shooter. Alright. Well. There's nothing to shoot. So I don't know if it classifies- oh, now there's stuff to shoot. kind of weird that they only this is only the second one of these that we're doing like why didn't they do these this more like they introduce it for the ice world and it's fine it's like why couldn't they have done that with the other places why did it just teleport us there again more waste of potential I mean not that I minded it but it made it just made everything it felt like they just wanted to pick up the pace and so they didn't care and this just feels like they wanted it for like a cool action scene which admit is fine like this is a cool action scene they're running away from cinder like the cowards that we are. Well, I don't like the looks of those horns on my butt. Um, I do have to wonder how long this is going to be, though. Super fire cannon! That's such a super cannon. I love it. Because I don't think the ice one was very long. I'm just kind of reminded of Kid Icarus Uprising. I mean, it's an on-rail shooter, so it makes it makes sense to be reminded of it. Speaking of on-rail shooters, what do you guys think of the new Star Fox game that's coming out? That, I don't, I don't know when this release date is, so it might already be out by the time this video comes out. I don't know, I did it! Yay! He really wants to bite Spyro's tail. Oh, is an Elder Garden finally doing something? Yeah! Ignitus! He's finally doing something! We 
We've got to find them. Help ignite us. They're gone, Spyro. There's nothing we can do. I don't care. Ignitus wouldn't leave me. What? Spyro. We just he's fell right. down to the ground. I'm right? Oh my god, that's a first. Yes. You never find them in this mess. And you're not ready to face Cinder yet. Time to fight will come. Why did but why was Ignitus the only one who helped? Where were Voltaire and Cyro? I guess you're right. Let's go. Oh, fine. They gave up. That's that's nice. That's good. Good message. When all seems lost, just give up. Although I guess it's kind of more regrouping than anything else. Hey, I'm finally getting to talk about story stuff again. That's nice. Story stuff is happening. As is our loading screens. Yep, loading screens are fun. It's my fault. I failed Ignitus when he needed me most. It's just that the sight of Cinder so close just... just... Made your heart stop? Put ice in your veins? Scared the crud out of you? Yeah, something like that. All warriors feel fear at one time or another, Spyro. There's no shame in that. Yes, it's a proven scientific fact that the quotient between adrenaline and trepidation... Voltaire, please. I believe our good friend here was trying to make a point. Thank you, Cyril. What I was going to say is that all warriors feel fear, Spyro, but only the most valiant among us can face that fear and master it. From what I saw of you on Munitions Forge, you are one such warrior. If you say so. Also, I apologize if this goes on a little bit long Young because Dragon, of cutscenes. Now is the like time video. to complete your training. Now is the time to face your fear. Come. Am I the only one still petrified? Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode after all this tutorial stuff is done and said and over with. See you guys then!